That's another example. Four concurrent forces are acting upon an object 20.0 newton east, 12.5 newton, 30.5 degrees west of south, 42.8 newton, 71.6 degrees north of east, and 5.9 newton south. What is the resultant force acting on an object? So again, gagawa ulit tayo ng table na dapat isulat natin lahat ng given sa problem. So ano-ano ba yung given sa problem? We have 20.0 newton east, yun, 20.0 newton east, we have 12.5 newton, 30.5 degrees west of south. Ito, this one, west of south, 30.5. Then we have 42.8 Newton, 71.6 degrees north of east. So, north of east. And then we have 5.9 Newton south. So, yun ang ating uh, mga values. Or yun ang ating mga, anong tawag niyan? Mga vectors. So, second column is your horizontal component, Rx. And then your, so the third column is your vertical component, Ry. So meron, meron tayong four, four um, vectors, ibig sabihin meron din tayong four na Cartesian plane. So let us try to draw first the Cartesian plane on the first day given. So that is going to the east. Going to the east. Ano yung code color? Gusto ko? Um, red na lang. Ay, isa na lang. Violet. Violet? Red. Red. So it is going to the east. Yeah, going to the east. Okay, going to the east. Now, what is the horizontal and vertical component of that given? We all know na nasa x component lang yan, horizontal component, kasi nga east lang ang nakalagay. So ibig sabihin, that will be our horizontal component sa east. That is 20.0 newton. And since that is east, Ano ang sign convention natin if that is east? It should be positive. So wag kakalimutan yung sign convention, positive. That means our vertical component is zero. So lagyan lang natin ang zero component sa ating, uh, zero sa ating vertical component. Kasi wala naman siyang north or south. East lang yan. Okay? Now let's proceed to the next given. We have 12.5. Newton, 30.5 degrees west of south. So, gawa ulit tayo ng Cartesian plane. What's the purpose of the Cartesian plane? The purpose is to identify the direction and kung ano yung trigonometric function na gagamitin natin. Now, if, if you already know how to determine the adjacent and, and the opposite side na hindi na kailangan ng Cartesian plane, okay lang din. However, for beginners, kailangan natin ng Cartesian plane para ma-identify natin yung opposite side at yung adjacent side. So this is 30.5 degrees west of south. Saan siya naka-base? Sa south. Papuntang west. Kasi that is of south. So ibig sabihin, our angle is from the south. Going to the what? Going to the west. So ito. From the south, going to the west. And that means this will be our vector. So we will draw a right triangle na dapat nasa loob yung ating angle. Dapat nasa loob ang ating angle. So saan tayo maglalagay ng drawing? Dito or dito? Dapat dito, dito para sa loob yung uh, ating right triangle. Dito tayo mag-draw. Ah, nasa loob yung ating angle. So dito tayo mag-draw ng ating right triangle. Okay, hindi dito sa kabila kasi dapat nasa loob yung ating angle. Now, let us identify which is our Rx and which is our Ry. Rx is horizontal, so that means this is horizontal. This will be our Rx. And since this is our vertical, uh, vertical then this is our Ry. Okay? Identify which of these two is the opposite side and the adjacent side. Rx is the opposite side. Tama? This is the opposite side because that is the side na kaharap ng ating angle. So, opposite side. And Ry is our adjacent side because that is the side na naka-attach sa ating angle. Ako ha? Naka-attach sa ating angle. So, for our horizontal component, Rx, since opposite yung ating Rx, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitan natin na trigonometric function is what? Sine. Kasi nga, opposite yan. So, it is 12 0.5 newton times sine 
of your angle. What is our angle? Our angle is 30.5. Sine, 30.5 degrees. And that is equivalent to, solve natin yan, 12.5 times sine 30.5. That will give us 6.6. That is 6.3442. 3442 and so on newton take note of the sign convention that is west horizontal west so that means it should be what it should be negative kasi nga west so lagyan mo ng negative nakuha very good now let's have the vertical component so that means if if our horizontal component is sine that means our vertical component is cosine so this will become 12.5 Newton times cosine 30.5 degrees. And that will give us what? 12.5 times cosine 30.5. That will give us 10 10.7707037703. Newton. And take note of the sign convention. The sign convention should be what? It should be negative. Bakit? Kasi south yan. So lagyan natin yan ng negative. Yan. Negative. Okay? Let's proceed to the next example. Ito. 42.8 Newton. 71.6 degrees north of east. So gagawa ulit tayo ng Cartesian plane to determine its direction. Since that is north of east, saan manggagaling ang ating angle? From the east. So mula sa east, papunta sa north. So from the east, going to the north. That means this will be our vector. Ito yung ating vector. Okay? From the east, going to the north. Because that is north of east. And then gagawa tayo ng right triangle. Gagawa ng right triangle na dapat Nasa loob ang ating angle. So that means ito yung ating right triangle. Dapat nasa loob ang angle. Next, identify natin si Rx at saka si Ry. Rx is horizontal. Ito yung horizontal natin, so Rx. Ito yung vertical natin, so Ry. Nakuha? Then, saan dito si opposite at saka si adjacent side? Si Rx is adjacent. Si Ry is Opposite. No, kasi nga, adjacent ito kasi naka-attach. Opposite yan kasi kaharap. Ry opposite. So that means, to solve for Rx, since Rx now is adjacent, that means, ang gagamitin natin is cosine for adjacent. So that is 42.8 Newton times cosine 71.6 degrees. And that will give us 42.8 times cosine 71.6. And that is 13.5097. It is 13.5097. Newton. Extra lang yan, ha? And then take note of the convention. Horizontal yan, so east. East man yan, so it should be positive. So lagyan natin ang positive para hindi tayo malito. Positive kasi east. Now, how about our vertical component? If ang ginamit na natin sa ating horizontal component is cosine, that means our vertical component is sine. So it is 42.8 Newton times sine of your angle, 71.6 degrees. And that will give us 42.8 times sine 71.6. That will give us 40.61189. 40.61189 Newton. Take note of the convention, the sine convention, since that is north, ibig sabihin it should be positive, kasi north. Nakuha? 
Ay, salamat. Last na yun. Last na given. So we will draw last Cartesian plane for the fourth and last given. That is going to the south. Going to the south. Yan. So ibig sabihin, papunta tayo sa south. South. Ayun, south. So that means, an, asa naka-attach yung ating vector? Sa south lang, which is vertical. Okay? So that means, ilalagay natin siya sa vertical component. Dito natin siya ilalagay sa kabila. Vertical component kasi south. And that is 5.9 newton. And take note of the sign convention that is south. So it should be negative. Okay? Dapat negative kasi south. So that means... Sa ating horizontal component, ano yung ating horizontal component? Dapat zero. Zero newton. Bakit zero, sir? Wala namang left and right yan. Eh. Wala namang west and east. Okay? Okay, very good. Now, we are going to add all of those components. So, add muna natin lahat si horizontal component. So, add lahat. 20.0 plus negative 6.0. 3442 plus 13.509778 plus 0 plus 27. This is 27.165578 Newton. Take note. The sign is positive. So isulat natin yung positive na sign para hindi tayo malito. Positive. And if that is positive, that means anong ibig sabihin sa direction na yan? It should be east. Kasi positive yan. East ang positive sa horizontal. Okay? Next, dito tayo sa kabila. I-add natin yan lahat. Negative 10 la 0 0.7703 plus 40.6 one one eight nine plus negative five point nine plus twenty three. That is twenty three. Wait lang ha. That is twenty three point nine four one five nine nine four one five nine Newton. And it is positive. So isulat natin ulit ang positive na sign para hindi tayo malito. Positive. And then if that is positive, that means it should be north. It should be north. Okay? So yan na. Again, so, hindi mo na kailangan i-follow yung, uh, i-trace yung significant figures ha? kasi... Pareho lang yan. Babalik din naman tayo sa list number of significant figures sa given. So sa given na lang tayo titingin later. Okay. So we are going to solve now. Solve na natin yung ating uh, magnitude and the direction. Solve natin. I-raise ko muna itong mga Cartesian planes sa baba. Okay. So start tayo ng uh, ating magnitude. Solve muna natin si magnitude. Paano ba isolve si magnitude? Magnitude. Sir, kailangan pa ba kami mag-drawing ng Cartesian plane? Okay lang hindi na kasi madali na lang yan kapag uh, uh, later, ipakita ko later. So magnitude, to solve for the magnitude, we will use Pythagorean theorem. So R is equal to square root of a squared, it's up to you. Ano yung A squared mo? 27. 27.1655. Okay lang hanggang dito ka na. Kasi extra lang naman yan. Two significant figures lang naman din yung kailangan dyan. Plus, dito sa kabila. Dito sa kabila, which should, uh, sa kabila is 23.94159. Okay lang din. Kahit ano lang extra mo dyan. Okay. And that will give us, what? 27.1655 squared plus 23.94159 squared. That will give us 100, uh, 1,000 square root of 1,311 point one six 
Okay lang. 4, 1, 2, 2. And then take the square root of that. Square root answer. That will give us 36. 36.2100 and so on. Unit is Newton. But take note, we will follow the rules of significant figures. So tingin ka lang sa given which has the least significant figures. Ito, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2. So that means we need the least 2 lang. So our final answer must only have 2 significant figures. So our R should be 36 Newton. Ako ha, 36 Newton dapat. How about our direction? So to solve for the direction, we are going to use TOA. TOA ang gagamitan natin ha para mas madali na lang. So TOA. Theta is equal to inverse tangent opposite uh, opposite over adjacent. So for example, ang gagamitan ko na opposite is north. So sa negative, north ang opposite natin. It is 23.94, okay lang yan, extra, point 0.159, all over, 27.165578. And then that will give us theta as 23.94159 divided by 27.165578. 5578 five, five, plus shift and answer. Plus 41.39 and so on degrees. And since we need how many significant figures, a given parent cut hitting in two, so that means theta is 41 degrees. What is 41 degrees? Ano yung nasa taas mo? That is your north. So it should be north. Next, ano yung nasa baba mo? That is east. So, of east. Okay? Sir, what if babalik ta rin ko? What if ibalik ko? Unahin ko si east sa taas. Okay lang din. So try natin ha? Try natin ibalik tad. Theta is equal to inverse tangent uh, opposite over adjacent. Balik tad natin. What if our opposite is itong is? So inverse tangent, that is 27.165578 divided by 23.94159. And that will give us when, uh, 27 point one six five five seven eight divided by 23.94159. And then shift and answer. That will give you 48.609 and so on degrees. But since we need how many significant figures? We need two significant figures. So our theta should be 49 degrees. But ano yung nasa taas mo? C27, and that is east. Ano yung nasa baba? North. So east of north. Familiar? Ako ha? So kahit anong gagawin mo, the same pa din yung lalabas natin na answer. They are both correct. Okay? So, our final answer, just combine the magnitude and the direction. Either of the direction is correct. Ako, ha? Okay, very good.